You heard it right. Dalen Klaassen, the man from Klagstorp. Nine caps for Bafana Bafana. He's played in some of the biggest, most important matches we've ever played. And he is now back in South Africa to play for Bid Best Bits. Uh, welcome, Dalen, to Sport at 10. How are you? I'm good in yourself, Thomas. I'm thanks okay. for having me. Though. No, it's good to have you, you and thanks for coming through. Klagstorp, man, man. Klagstorp. I used to skit, uh, there was a place called Goodfellas. Uh, Kenya de Plecker. Yeah, I was there like... Uh, it's in Alabama, like, back in the day, but I don't think Goodfellas is there anymore. Is it closed? Like, it yeah, I'm starting to show my age, eh? Ah, no, I'm no, starting no, to no. show my age. <laughs> but the thing that amazes me is your football career. Because Klagstorp to Cape Town. Yes. Take me through that a little bit. Oh. You start your football in Klagstorp. How do you get spotted by teams in Cape Town? No, my father's originally from Cape Town, so at the age of 11, I moved to Cape Town. And then I played a year at Vasco da Gama, then the year later I went to Ajax, and that's how it all came. But out. even at Ajax Cape Town, dude, I've got a pretty good memory for footballers, and I'm struggling to remember seeing you play in an Ajax jersey. I don't think you played even 10 games. No, I never played. I think it was around about eight, nine games when Coach Mushin Etrigal was there, I was promoted, and I played like a few games, and then the following season I got injured, so it was difficult when Coach Craig Rosley came in charge. So oh. that one year, I never played that much, but in the following year, I went overseas. And I mean, this guy was truly spectacular because age 17 was your PSL debut. You played Fikes at yeah. the age of 17, Seven. just after your 17th birthday. No, okay. And then it's not long after that, the big club in Europe sees you, Ajax Amsterdam. You're on the plane. Yeah, I'm blessed and favored, highly favored. So I'm, I'll always be grateful for Ajax. They put me on the platform so teams could see me. Uh. So I come from Alabama, there's not a lot of opportunities, so I was grateful that we could go to Cape Town. And Who's that, Kasi? Alabama? Yeah. So like Kasi, I was <laughs> born there, so I always appreciate that it made me who I am and who I became. Then you get to Ajax Amsterdam. Again, they like you, but you don't get too many opportunities to play with the senior team. Yes, I was training with the second team. Uh, Stanton Lewis was there at the time, mm -hmm. so I adapted quickly, because I loved the team for like a few weeks before I moved on my own, but like, I trained with the second team, I went to train with the first, first team also, but they said I should wait a bit before I, but I left before, after two years I left. They send you to Belgium, you get to Belgium, you have spent three years there, you're one of the best midfielders in the league. Liersa loved you. There was good years there, Thomas. All I can say, like, there it was like, Siboniso Gatsa was there, uh -huh. uh, Lance Davids was there. All and of the same team? Uh, yeah. The three of us were the same team, only Anele was at Gen. So it was like, for us, it was like, for me pers personally, it was good to adapt there because like, you know, so much South Africans, it felt like home. And those three years for me was just bliss, like I was. The European football scene loves you so much. The football you're putting on in Belgium is so good that teams in the UK come yes. and say, we need this guy to play in, in the UK. Then disaster. I heard my... Patella. So, the knee? Yeah, the yeah, knee. Come good word here, patella. <laughs> Who knows what a patella is? Your uh, knee? Yeah, yes. But now it's perfectly fine, but at the time I was out for six months. And that like sort of like shifted my career in a different move because after the knee I had to get back again. And huh. I was at that stage, I just wanted to leave the club. So I went to Poland. And then but how was that? It sounds like you saying Poland like no, you. No, I'm not saying like, like I, Poland, I, yeah, no, then no, I went to no, Poland. No, no. <laughs> Poland was, was also good. I enjoyed it there, but I was only there for a year. And then Germany comes along. You then go to play Germany. in the second division? Yes, for three years. I just, my contract finished now and I decided I wanted to come home. Now, I'm a little bit interested though, because there's a story I want to hear. There was a time you went on trial to the UK. Good. You went to Hull. Yes. And you played in a friendly there and they liked yeah, you. Yeah. But when we looked at the team sheet, I had the name. <laughs> there was not your name on that team sheet. What happens there? They nah. called you something Armstrong. Lance Armstrong. <laughs> the cyclist. Nah, you had a I secret name. Know. You had a secret name to go on trial. Nah, no. I don't know what they were doing there, but I'm sure they know what, what they were doing. But you were the guy. You were Lance Armstrong. You score and yeah, then... I was unaware at the moment. We had to check Only the afterwards pictures. Afterwards, I realized, hey, look, look here, who's, who's this guy? So they didn't want you to, they didn't want many people to know that you were there on trial? I guess so. Because then know, when we checked the picture, we were like, yeah, man, these knee lines are on weekend <laughs> screen. <on." laughs> so, this is, this is daily classic. I <laughs> know. Huh? Uh, but I'm happy though I got an opportunity to go with them on trial. They were like 
interested in me and stuff. So I'm happy that I got an opportunity to go there. Though. Nine years in Europe. I mean, that's brilliant. Most uh, footballers who leave here don't uh, last that long. But you're back. Why? Yes. Uh, it's a personal decision I made with my family. We discussed it amongst us. and I always, But at the back of my mind, I always told myself that I wanted to come back and still be at an age where I can compete. Mm. So I felt it was the right time to come. You on. had other options. Why bit this bit? I want to come to one of the best teams in South Africa. They just won the league. so, And it's a very ambitious club. They want to win stuff and silverware and that. And I'm also, I just want to add value to the team. What do you bring? Because a lot of South Africans haven't seen you play. What have Bidvest Wilts bought? Well, we'll have to wait and see. Don't have they have bought to. skill, pace, passing? Let's wait and see. I don't want to You want to surprise us I'd now? I'd rather be a guy of action and of talking. Right? So let's wait and see. Who let's talk about the action in the Bafana jersey, though, because nine caps. First of all, let's start with the maybe the moment that we all try to forget. Brazil. Yeah, the one we lost five. Five nil. You were in the yeah. starting lineup against Brazil. There was and you're on that side with Marcelo and, and Neymar. Neymar. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Actually, if I think think about it now, I'm actually happy that <laughs> I got to like play against those players. Because if you see today, they're playing Champions League. And uh, so it was, it was a learning curve. Study the path, man. I don't come for me. Yeah, no, no, no. Nah, that game was really, truly like, I don't know. It was a life lesson, I, I, I think. Yeah. Because I think like the team wasn't, the team was well though. Brazil did really well that game. We, we were really unfortunate during it. Yeah, game. no shame, so man. 5-0 makes it sound it was close, man. It was, yeah. It wasn't close. <laughs> it was a hidey. What are you saying? <laughs> then, no, but I mean, like, you always, like, Brazil is up there with the countries, though. Uh, so, you know, for us to compete against them, I think it's... Then you beat Spain. Let's go to the good news. 1-0, 2013, good. Spain, Xavi, Iniesta, David Villa, they no, were all no, on no. your side there. And you started that game. That had to be amazing. Yeah, no, I'm really grateful that Coach Gordon at the time, you was the coach, Coach Gordon Ingerson, and yeah. he gave me the opportunity and the trust to start the game and play. And I'm just happy that I got the chance to play like guys of that caliber, like to play against them. It's like, yeah. it's like a dream come true because normally you watch them on TV and yeah, you get to play against them. So for me personally, like, that was like one of the things that I would have liked to experience in my career before. Just say it. Yeah. You put Xavi in your pocket. Yeah. Nah, I would never say that. <laughs> Those, <laughs> Those players are like, yeah. You can only like imagine like what they go through on you a You won, day. so you're allowed to say it now. <laughs> one nil, you say, he didn't see the game, man. Humble. You must be <laughs> humble yourself, brother. David yeah. Klassen, I've yeah, loved catching it. up with you. South Africans have loved getting a little bit of an insight to you, and we will be watching in uh, how you do at uh, Bitvest. But it's all the best and welcome back home. Thanks a lot, Tom. Good I uh, for the man from Alabama in Clarksdorp to be back in South African football. That's Dalen Klaassen. And that was the conversation with him after the break. Pelo Bala, one of the...